in this video we are going to learn about session management session management is a technique of managing user specific data okay and in this series we are going to first learn how to pass data from one page to another page using query string now before we proceed further let's first try to understand what is query string query string is basically a string and that is suffixed with the URL so for example if my URL is here http www.itfunda.com and if we have to add query string on this particular page for default.aspx page then we will start with the question mark and then we will add the query string name for example a and then we will add the value of the, this query string so I will write for example 5 and if we have to add another query string then what we can do is that we can write m percent b is equal to 10 so in this case what will in, in the first case default.aspx will get query string a and when we will try to retrieve its value then we will get 5 in, in, the, in the second case default.aspx will get two, two query string the first query string is a whose value will be 5 and the second query string will be b whose value will be 10 so this is basically a query string remember that the query string starts with a uh, question mark and the, all the following query strings is uh, concatenated using the ampersand symbol so in this how to we are going to learn that how to pass a query string from one page uh, to another page and retrieving the query string on the another page and getting the data from the database based on that value so uh, let, let's do that so first what I am going to do is that first I am going to create one default dot aspx page and this is going to buy my code so I'm, first I am deleting all these things right click add new item default dot aspx page add and this is going to be my code now let me tell you what is in this code in this code what we have is that what we have uh, a text called show records where auto ID is 5 and it is targeting to show details dot aspx with auto ID as the query string and the value is 5 it means that when I will click on this link it will be redirected to show details dot aspx with auto ID query string value will be 5 and then in the second we have on hyperlink and that hyperlink uh, ID is basically hyper 1 and the text is show record where auto id is 8 now in the code behind what we are doing is that we are writing some code and that code is basically changing the navigate url of hyper1 hyperlink asp hyperlink control so it it, it will add a navigate url equal to show details dot aspx question mark auto equal id equal to 8 and com equal to show it means that this hyperlink means this anchor tag will have a show details dot aspx with auto id and com uh, as a query string fine now let's create show details dot aspx space so i'm going to create uh, another aspx called show details okay and on this page what we are going to do is that we are going to keep on default uh, sorry on details view control so here is my details view control and then I have couple of code snippet as well in the code behind so I'm going to copy paste them and then I will explain it in detail okay and then from here to here yes now let me tell you what is this so first because we are using uh, data table and uh, uh, SQL client so we'll have to use name space system dot data and using system dot data dot SQL client because you are using SQL server database and then let me rectify all these uh, codes okay we are done now here what we are doing first in the page load event we are checking if auto ID is not null or white space then try to pass the auto id query string so this is the way to basically retrieve the query string value request dot query string of the name of the query string so here we are passing auto id so that's why i have kept auto id here 
So in this case, where we are passing auto ID equal to five, so what will happen is this auto ID uh, request dot query string of auto ID will give us five value, and that's what we are doing. We are trying to pass the value of query string and we are saving into the auto ID variable, and that auto ID we are checking. If it is not equal to zero, then uh, go ahead call the get data method, and in this get data method, what we are doing is that we are uh, uh, we are first instance instantiating the SQL connection object by passing the connection string. Let me define the connection string page level variable string underscore constr configuration. We'll have to write system dot configuration namespace. So configuration manager dot connection string con str dot connection string. This constr is nothing but coming from my web.config file. You can see here. So once we have the uh, SQL connection instantiation, then we are uh, executing a SQL statement by passing the auto ID as the first parameter. Okay, and that auto ID value if we are uh, setting as the auto ID that is coming into this method means in in first case it will be five naturally because we are passing five here. Ideally, you should use the stored procedure, but for this example, I am just using the SQL statement. To uh, to know how to use the stored procedure, please refer to my ADO.NET uh, videos. And then, once we have, then we are using the SQL adapter uh, uh, object and calling the fill method that will basically fill the records into the data table object. And we are specifying the data source of the details view to the data table and calling the data bind method that will basically bind the data to the details view. Okay, now let me run this default.aspx first. So this is my default.aspx page. Now notice the status bar here. When I'm mouse overing my uh, on the first link, you can see that auto ID is equal to five is coming here. So when I will click this, it will go to the show details.aspx. You can see here with auto ID is equal to five. And based on that auto ID, we are basically getting the, the the record whose auto ID is five from the database and binding into the details view. If I will click on the uh, second link, that will basically write auto ID equal to eight and com equal to so. Here, what we will do? Let me show you. Let me see what is the problem here. Yes, it should show. Auto ID A A U T O I D equal to eight. Okay, looks like there is no uh, data into the database with eight. Okay, there is no data into the database with auto ID equal to eight. So let me make it seven. So I should get Palo Mexico. So I'm going to go ahead here and uh, changing from eight to seven. And then I am again refreshing this page. Let me change the text as well here. Seven. Okay. Now when I click this, you can see that I am getting Palo Mexico records in the details view. So this is the way to basically uh, pass the data from one page to another page using the query string.